Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about how to disable the picklist value in LWC. Like we have lots of value, I want to disable some few values, so how to disable it. Suppose we need to make some of picklist value as disabled in LWC. Now the individual option of lightning combo box does not support the disable attributes. So we can implement this same logic using SLDS and iteration logic inside our LWC. So how to do that? Let me show you here. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates and you never will miss any kind of update from my side. And also watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to do one thing. Just you have to create one LWC component using Control shift p and create lightning web component if you are using window and give the name as you want let's say select component like comp okay so it can be anything in your case i'm using this one that's why you can see here right so my component is created successfully here after that you have to do one thing here just under this you know like js let me create you know like some options array so how to do that let me add like options like data for example purpose right and this is the array array, array of object under here i want to pass some value let's say value colon uh, option one right and uh, it should be in single quote because it's a key value period here after that you have to give uh, once you give this one, right, like a value and uh, after that you have to give the label as well. So label is this one, right. And here we have another attribute that is called is disabled, right, is disabled and false. Okay, so here to here you can see this one, right. And after that we can use second option. And then third option like this right so now here you can see this syntax error let me check the error first so this is this is from here and here this is one only one needed right so once you've done it now you can see our option data is ready right so how to use inside our you know lwc and html so we can use here like this, right? After that, you have to do one thing here. Just create one event. If you check the event, so let's say handle change. This is the event, right? And I need to console it, like console dot log. And here I need to check event dot target dot value, like this, okay? And just close it. So our JS part is done. Now it's time to design our HTML part, right? So let's say here in this area it is disable all false here. You can observe here, right? But I need to check something here. Let's say I want to do like true and false. So based on this is disable attribute, we can disable or enable the pick list value, right? But in combo box, we cannot support it. This is disabled right attribute. So now just open the HTML part, so control P and select, let's say select component HTML. So this is the HTML part here, right? Uh, also, uh, let me select the uh, metadata file as well. So select component metadata file. So I need three files here. After that, you have to design this one. Let me create one div. Under this div, I need to add the SLDS class. So SLDS class, let's say SLDS, SLDS hyphen form, it's a form hyphen element, right? And uh, once you've done it, now let me create the label first here. Label, and the uh, label having lots of things here. So for means, it's indicate that particular uh, index of this value so select hyphen zero one after that you have to give uh, class 
SLDS class and SLDS hyphen form hyphen element something like that right element underscore underscore label like this and give the label name let's say please select the value select value something like that so based on your requirement you can create it once you've done it uh, after that I need to create you know like another another div so this time I want to create one div and this div contain the class SLDS class and this SLDS class contain SLDS form underscore control right so SLDS uh, hyphen form hyphen and element underscore underscore control like this once you've done it now we have to create another you know like uh, div for check the you know responsive things so under this div I need to create another SLDS class so this time SLDS hyphen select underscore container container then space and SLDS and uh, the size is size underscore 2 of 12 Uh, so oh, like this the one hyphen of hyphen 12 something like that right and now this time I want to use the select option here and this select contain like class ID and handler so ID I want to give the ID here let's say uh, select to uh, this one uh, we already give the select one right so just let me copy this one and paste it here so select hyphen 01 and a class I need to give the class let me remove the uh, this attribute let me add the class class SLDS hyphen select All right and uh, on changing event under here I need to check on change and on change contain the handle change because handle change we already define in JS here you can see like this one copy it paste it here right once you've done this select then we have to provide the option and option let's say option and option contain the value select let's say select and uh, the label is like select okay then after that you have to use like template to trade the array values right so here I need to use like template template sorry I need to give the template like that template and under this template I need to pass like for each like for each equal to and then uh, my array array of object so my array of object here you can select option data so just copy it paste it here like option data after that for item or item equal to and like option right under here we need to pass like option and value key and something like that right so just you can write like option here like option like this under the option we have like value attribute under this value we can provide like option dot value here like option dot value and after that key key is the uh, basically used for the performance so that's why in LWC we are using key like option dot value same and after that uh, disable like disable this is the option under the in this picklist value disable and uh, under here we have to give like a binding parameter like option dot label label right so once you've done it this template is done now it's time to use 
uh, another one. So before that, let me add one, you know, like uh, LWC if and else because it's a good things because every time you have to check this option is available or not. So always use this one. Right. So under here, like a template, let me add the template and this template, uh, I want to close here. Right. Under this template, we have to pass like LWC if because it's a new directory, we always use this one. So LWC is a new directory under, you know, this new release. So always follow this one. So LWC if equal to option dot is disabled. So we have to use this binding parameter option dot. We have this attribute inside our, you know, array is disabled. So just let me copy it. Paste it here. Right. Is disabled. After that, you have to do one thing, just here, uh, once you done it, like LWC if, and LWC ha if having this kind of, you know, conditions, after that, you have to use like LWC else as well, right? So under the options here, we have this LWC if here to here, we have to use another template for else as well, like this, under here, we have to pass like LWC else. Okay, and this LWC else, no need to pass any parameter because it's else part. So under here, we have to use like option, like this option value, option value, key, option dot value, and option dot label, this one. Once you've done it, let me save this. And here, it's a duplicate it, but you can upgrade using this one. Okay, so don't worry about that. Let me save this and let's see the output of this one. So before that, you have to configure your, you know, XML file. So it always make it true. After that, target and just let me save it. And let me deploy this component. Let me save all. Let me deploy this component. So once you deploy this one here, right? So we can use it. Oh, okay. Let's see the, uh, you know, like, uh, error so it's showing here deployment failed due to lwc or something like let me check where yeah so here you can see successfully deploy our component now how we can use inside our salesforce very simple just open the org so i would just already open it so you can open any kind of you know record page app page home page so let me open like account pages okay account record page so once you open the account here or contact based on your requirement, you can choose it. So under contact, I want to use contact and David Singh. This is the contact. Let me edit this page. And under this Lightning App Builder page, Visual Editor, we can drag and drop our component inside Lightning App Builder page. So under the custom, you will see my component. So it's still loading here. You can see some process is going on. After that, you can see my select component here, select comp. Just drag and drop anywhere as you want, like this. And here, so once you deploy your component and uh, check the value here, and uh, I already injected into, you know, this component inside my contact record page. So once you see, here you can see like option one, option two, option three, right? So once you select this, it's automatic selected here like this. And all in backend also. In the console, you can see the option. So let me clear it and let me select the option two. So you can see the option two here. Let me select the option three, option three here, right? But uh, where we can see our disable value, we cannot see, right? Because of, let me show you that part here. So I want to disable this, you know, like option two. So how to disable it? Very simple. Just go to here, go to your, uh, you know, JS file and make it is disabled true and just save it, deploy your component and let's see the output. So please observe, once you make it your option two is disabled, now you cannot select the option two. You can select only option one and option three. If you mouse over this, you know, option two, it's, auto it's not selected by default here. That is the op uh, functionality of this component, right? So we can select only one and three. If you need like, I want to disable three as well, you can disable it. 
because blue color always indicate highlighted value so please observe only one and three highlighted not two highlighted like this okay so if you make it like three value as disabled so always go here make it is disable is true here let me deploy it and let's see the output so now successfully deploy go to here and after that so this time option 2 option 3 is disabled and option 1 is enabled and once you done it just come down only option 1 is highlighted or enabled but option 2 option 3 is disabled you cannot select this option 2 and option 3 so this is how to disable and enable the picklist value using this custom functionality in Salesforce using LWC so guys I hope you learn something new in this video because in the lightning combo box we cannot add the is disabled or disabled attribute that's why I created this video for you it's it will be help you uh, because if you need somewhere in your project so you can implement this kind of code line by line end to end process right so guys I hope you learn something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share subscribe the channel and turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys